Hi, I'm Tim DeStasio, and I've been in the HVAC and building science space for over 25 years. And today, I'll be walking you through how to install Haven's Central Air Controller. For written instructions, you can check out Haven's Pro Support Center online. If you need help on an installation that you're doing right now, call the Pro Support Line for assistance. This device requires a Haven monitor or another compatible brand to trigger the automations. If you haven't yet installed the monitor, head on over to that video first. If this is your first time installing a controller, you'll need to watch the intro to the controller video to learn about why you'd install a controller and how it works, as well as the benefits of automations, equipment compatibility, different install methods, power placement and wiring tips, and the software that you'll need to install and beyond. If you've installed a controller before, stick with this video. This process should take about 15 to 20 minutes. As a quick refresh on the controller, it is a wireless relay control device that can be retrofitted to most existing HVAC systems or bundled with new equipment installations. It has two dry contact relays and is compatible with most HVAC accessories or systems that use 24 volt strategies. It can be wired to air handlers, mechanical ventilation equipment like ERVs, HRVs, ventilating dehumidifiers, and dampers for outdoor intakes, as well as dehumidifiers and humidifiers. The controller is not directly compatible with communicating systems, but it can still be used to control independent auxiliary equipment like ventilation fans or humidifiers or dehumidifiers that aren't connected to the communicating system in the home. What's included? The kit will include a quick start guide, an accessory bag, and the controller itself. Inside the accessory bag, you will find the Wago lever nuts, a reset pin, and a pair of sheet metal screws for mounting. You'll need to have the following tools on hand. A drill with a quarter inch hex bit, some wire strippers, and the length of either two, four, or six wire solid conductor cable, depending on how many pieces of equipment that you're connecting and where the wires are running to. Let's talk about power. The leftmost terminals on the controller are for power. Connect these to the RNC terminals from the air handler control board or other transformer that you wanna use as long as it's between nine and 30 volts AC or DC. Please note that the Haven controller is only designed to switch loads under 30 volts with two amp max current draw. Do not use the dry contact outputs to switch 120 volt loads or anything drawing more than two amps. Doing so could cause damage to both the controller and the HVAC equipment. Make sure to install the controller in a location that has good Wi-Fi signal and where it won't get bumped easily. The first step is to connect the controller's relay terminals to those on the equipment. If you have the monitor installed in a return duct of an air handler or a ventilating dehumidifier and you don't have the fan set to continuous, one of the relays will need to be connected to the R and G terminal of the air handler. This will allow the controller to bypass the thermostat and turn on the fan in a continuous schedule. When you commission the device to Wi-Fi in the app, the relay will be able to respond to high PM 2.5 or total VOC levels. If your customer is concerned with particles and dust in the air, it would be beneficial to choose PM 2.5 to keep the air handler running longer and force more air through the filter. Alternatively, you can have it triggered based on high levels of TVOCs. Think nasty garbage smells, chemicals from hobbies, and even higher occupancy where you'd want the air to circulate to dilute the buildup. The second relay will be open for a second purpose. If your customer has some kind of mechanical ventilation, outdoor air intake damper, or humidity control equipment, you'll want to connect the second relay to the 24 volt AC and appropriate terminals on the chosen equipment. Haven is consistently building out their library of wiring diagrams to help you streamline the setup process. You can access all the installation options along with respective diagrams on the Haven Pro install page in the app or at the help center. To install a device, you'll need the Haven IEQ app. Make sure that you're logging into the app with your Pro account. If your company has created a service company profile already, ask the admin on the account to send you an invitation to join the company. That way, any installs that you do will be available under the same service company profile in the Haven Pro portal. Navigate to the Haven Pro page from the menu. If you're logged in with your Pro account, you'll see the different installation options here. 
One method is setting up the controller via the automation templates. These include a step-by-step -step process for connecting multiple pieces of equipment that you can configure to solve different problems. The intro to the controller video goes into more detail on these. Here, we'll focus on the custom automation setup, linking indoor air quality parameters one-to-one -one with equipment automations. So go ahead and select Connect a Haven device. Select your installation type, residential or commercial. Type in your customer's email address. Make sure that you don't have any typos in there and that it's the same one that you use when you install the monitor. If the customer is found, then it will pull up the dwelling information. Select the existing dwelling to ensure that the devices are associated properly. Fill in any missing information and click Next. Choose controller as the device you are installing. Next, the app will find any monitors that were previously installed in the home zone. This step links the controller to that specific monitor and zone. Under deployment type, you can choose the one that best suits your needs. Now we'll connect terminal one. When it comes to telling Haven what kind of equipment that you're setting up, you can select from existing equipment, for example, the equipment that the monitor is installed alongside or add new. If you're gonna be controlling the air handler that the monitor is already installed with, be sure to select existing. Also, if you previously set up a controller with equipment and are now reworking the automations, you can select from the existing equipment too. This ensures that you aren't duplicating equipment in the software later. For this use case, we're gonna use the existing air handler and then set it up to react to PM 2.5. We want it to react with levels that increase above the good range. But if your customer isn't as sensitive, you might be able to set it up to activate above the poor range instead. Review the settings and continue. Now for Terminal 2. You can either set up the second relay or hook it up to another piece of equipment. If you select New, you can select a different equipment type. In this scenario, we're going to set it up with a dehumidifier. Currently, Haven uses a relative humidity set point for triggering the dehumidifier. We recommend keeping the set point under 60% RH. Alternatively though, you can set it up with some kind of mechanical ventilation or damper if your customer has ventilation concerns. The inputs are simple. By default, we want to activate the ventilation equipment if total VOC levels rise above the good range. If your customer is a little less sensitive to odors and doesn't want their system to be activated as frequently, you could change the trigger to intervene when t total VOC levels increase above the fair range instead. Review the settings and continue. Let's check those controls. Make sure that you have Bluetooth turned on your mobile device. And if your controller is powered up and the LED is solid blue, the app will be able to connect to it. If it's not solid blue, perform a hard reset by pressing the internal reset button along the top edge of the controller with the pin provided for about 15 seconds. Hold it down until the LED turns off and then back on, setting in the solid blue color. Now the app will activate each relay to make sure that it's able to turn on the equipment successfully. If it isn't turning it on, check your wiring to make sure that you have solid connections. Now it's time to commission the controller to Wi-Fi. Make sure that your phone's Wi-Fi settings are turned on, and Haven will automatically find available networks in the home. When you're entering the password, check for typos, and make sure that you're using the correct upper and lowercase letters. As you continue, the LED in the controller will start blinking. The firmware may need updating, which should happen automatically. If it gets stuck in that phase for more than just a few minutes, use the pin and push the reset button once. Don't hold it down this will force it to refresh. The LED may show an aqua flash for another minute or so, and then settle in solid green with an aqua flash every minute. This indicates that the device is communicating with the cloud and that it's safe to leave the house. If the LED is still flashing rapidly, press the reset button once more. Follow the steps to the end to ensure that the device gets onto the home's Wi-Fi network and commissioning is complete. If you experience any issues outside of what we've covered here, feel free to reach out to the Haven Pro support phone line. Before you leave, let the homeowner know about the Haven IEQ app. That is their main point of contact into their Haven data, aside from their weekly digest emails. Haven is continuously updating the app to allow them to engage more and more with their air quality scores and manage their automations. 
Once everything is set up and you're back at the office, log into the Haven Pro portal to see how the automations are working to improve your customer's air quality. This is where you'll be able to remotely edit automation settings, export reports to share with your customers, and manage your service company team. And remember, if you have any trouble through the process or need some more guidance on next steps, the Haven team is here to help. Their goal is to help you go beyond comfort and turn more homes into safe and healthy havens. You'll need to have the following tools on hand, and I have none of those tools on hand. Hang on. Ah. <laughs> Let me get my Haven app open. Takes it a little while. <laughs> 